what's good boys and girls welcome back to the channel feeling a little under the weather today so excuse my accent i thought we'd have a little bit of fun today and uh make a tier list i've done one tier list on this channel before but it wasn't really that serious i think i think we can have some fun with this one so by the title of the video you might be wondering what we got going on here well i thought you know i i do a I'm just gonna come out and say it. I thought I'd do a list of domestic and national terror organizations. I want to start the video by saying I obviously don't condone violence. I don't condone any of these things that people do. I stand against violence. I've never seen a tier list like this, so I thought we could have some fun and do this. I hope you guys are willing to stick with me on this one. <laughs> So we got our little tier list set up right here. Now, obviously, it's not. I'm not saying these are like. We're not ranking them from like best terror organization to the least. Basically, what we're ranking them on here: their overall threat level, their uh, mainstream recognition, if you will. Not really. <laughs> I hate that I'm doing that. Uh, overall style, you know. Let's just go for that. Let's go for style points. So let's see what we got here. All right, here. Let's see what we're working with. As you can see, we got a, an assortment of pictures down here. You're probably wondering what these all are. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll get into them as we go through. So uh, we're going to start off here. This one's this one looks obvious. This one looks obvious. I'm pretty sure this is the... Uh, this is Al-Qaeda. No, 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 no. No, never mind, never mind. So this is the Taliban. You know, that, 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 that gang of misfits with their outrageous Islamic stuff they got going on you know those crazy jihad fellas They got this crazy insignia that looks like one of those fucking mazes on the back of a cereal box. Y you hear about them all the time, especially during, like, George W. Bush's reign as president. Fool me once. Shame on... Shame on you. They fool me, can't get fooled again. I guess they, they were... They, they are pretty... Pretty high threat level back in the day. <coughs> pretty much just that. A military organization. So they're, they're pretty well organized. They had this huge, huge hold over Afghanistan. Crazy, crazy little boys having fun. Terrorism things and whatnot. They're backed by places like China, Iran, Pakistan, Russia. They're all alleged to help out the Taliban carry out their acts. All of them deny ever supporting the Taliban. They're they're known for being harsh and they've come to be known over this time, you know, this whole war on terror that the United States has been fighting. They they become known. They're kind of like that uh they're kind of like that old friend that you just don't really talk to anymore. Always oh, dressed in robes. Not really a fan. Uh I mean, if we're going to put them anywhere, I'm just going to throw them in that C category. Yeah, I think that's fair. Moving on, we have Om Shin Rikyu. This is a this they're like a they're a Japanese cult run by this guy. Well, they were they were they're kind of they kind of transitioned into more like a political organization. Originally, though, they were a Japanese doomsday cult run by this 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 guy right here named Shoko Asahara. He changed his name. He had a different name. And I might do a video about th this organization because what they did was just actual just crazy shit, you know. The stuff that they were involved with. Ludicrous shit. Uh, Anyways, you got this this guy. It, they're a doomsday cult, so he believes shit's gonna hit the fan. The whole world's gonna blow up. He just creates this whole cult based around his beliefs. <laughs> He 
Yeah, he, he, he likes to dress in very colorful outfits and everybody else has to dress in white and basically his whole thing changes. He goes insane. People disappear. There was a lot of uh, hypnotizing going on and a lot of coaching and training going on. You had to listen to this this audio that would make you basically go insane. So yeah, he's just one of those uh, he's just one of those guys and they always got the beard and the long hair. You know, they're always Jared Letoing it. They always, they just have their own little gang of people that they, they just keep around and make them do weird shit. It's probably like, you know, I have to f let me fuck you in the ass if you want to get to heaven kind of shit. He's, he's a wacky dude. He's a wacky dude. So, I mean, for this one, not really a threat these days, but I would say they got more style than, than a lot of other organizations. They're definitely a cult with personality. So I'm going to, I'm going to go, you know, I, they're not as well known in America as the Taliban, but they just got so much style about them. And uh, if I, when I do a future video about them, you, you'll know what I'm talking about. All right, we got the Aryan Brotherhood. And my God, dude, what the fuck? These boys, neo-Nazi, you know, white nationalist, white... White everything, all white everything. Baby, we all got secrets. That's okay. Are you telling me that you are not? Yeah, I'm not a woman. White? Oh, the, the deception. The betrayal, man. You deceived me. Calm down. I'm an FBI agent. I was uncovering a... Negro, please. Didn't somebody tell you this was an all-white party? Huh? White dudes, most, most if not all of them are already in prison and they're in that, that gang, you know, because if you go to prison and you're white, it's either you get jumped or you join the Aryan Brotherhood. There's like, there's no, there's no in between. And this guy right here, he's got a fucking, uh, like, what the hell, dude? He has Hitler's face as the centerpiece of his tattoo. This Old Spice, older block of body wash is so powerful it can block BO for 16 hours. This is why I have problems with tattoos, okay? Because if you think about it, uh, what if one day he decides he's reformed and he just has a gigantic Hitler on his back? What do you say to people? Like, what, what do you tell people when you're like, I've changed? And <laughs> people just, like, come up to you and they're like, what, what? You have a Hitler tattoo on your back. Like, his face. You have his whole face on your back. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm just a different person. Just a different person now. You can't really convince anybody that you've changed. To, to believe this is like a willful... It's willful ignorance. Simply just because of race, something is superior to another. And then just to ignore other factors altogether. Just to stick with a race. And it's all it's always the same looking white dude. If I'm, if I'm going to be honest with you, they're just a bitch made group. They're coming for everybody's head today, okay? Everybody's getting fucking beheaded today. Not much of a brotherhood. I mean, they, they stick together. They stick together. And I, I, I'll admire them for... You know, sticking to what they believe in. And they always got the crazy ass tattoo. So style points, I'm going to give them like... Style points, I'm going to put them in like a B. Right? I don't know. They're not really that original. They just throw, they just put all kinds of Nazi propaganda on their body. Threat level in prison, probably pretty high. But I'm not really feeling them. They're definitely... They're not as organized as the Taliban, all right? I'll, I'll say that. So I'm going to put them in a D category. All right, we got Hummus. Otherwise known as Hamas. I bet don't say that, right? all right, so Hamas, they're like basically anti, anti-Israel, anti-Jewish, just anti-Semitic altogether. You know, they do that, that crazy thing where you go and you strap a back on and you go and blow yourself up and you just end up in all these little pieces and stuff. You know that that crazy wacky type of behavior. And they 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 uh they like to shoot a lot of rockets. And um, I guess they're still running strong today. Whatever your opinions are on Arab-Israeli conflict, the violence is never the answer, okay? Violence is never the answer on either side. And they're just fighting over 
what they want to call the Holy Land. Don't you understand the fighting is the problem? Like, at the end of the day, if you kill everyone, if they kill all the Jews, or the other or the other side kills all of the other side, then, then what, like, uh, what do you do after that? You don't do anything. As for, like, threat level to the United States, not really. Over in Israel, yeah, definitely a huge threat. They're always, th this constant battle of just shooting rockets at each other back and forth, blowing shit up. Uh, there is another thing that they like to do, though. They like to strap bombs to kids and send them over. They basically persuade children into thinking about, like, dying for the country. So they like, they're like, if you go over there and you plant yourself over in that, that spot over there, you know, you're basically, you'll make me proud. Like, that's so, f that's so fucked in the hummus is going in the F category, okay? Okay, now we got ISIS. You know ISIS, they like to do the little, you know, the little, I can't say it here, but, you know, they like to do the little, eh. You know, the beheading shit. President Obama. <coughs> Push. And uh, they became like that real high terror threat level. They got factions all over the place. Basically rose up out of the ashes of the war on terror. You had a war that was fought with the United States involved over there. And it just created m more shit when it was left over. Most well known and threat level, probably ISIS is probably up there because they they definitely they infiltrate and they do like recruitment shit. Pure meme level, I'm gonna give uh, ISIS the top one of the top spots just because of memes. All right, we got Al Qaeda. We got Al Qaeda up next. Them in Saudi Arabia, America accused them being responsible for 9-11. And, um, you know, they had Osama bin Laden as their uh, lord and savior or whatever. Yeah, not much can be said. I'm going to give uh, <coughs> Al-Qaeda an A for Al-Qaeda. And Al-Qaeda Al Al gets an A for Allah. Now we're going to get to some strange ones, all right? We're going to get to a couple of strange ones here. So the reason I use the picture of the elite is because this this little terrorist group within the United States was called the Covenant, the Sword, and the Arm of the Lord. So it's obvious that I got to use an elite from Halo. Oh. They were a very, very tiny... Tiny, 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 tiny Christian identity organization. Basically, these people read the Bible and said, well, I seen enough. Let's go kill some people. They were formed in 1971 in this little small community of Elijah, Missouri. The organization believed specific groups of white people were direct descendants of like prophets in like Judaism and Christianity. They just believed that they that that they were the only ones that descended from these people and that they were the savior of the world. So like I don't know, these people just go fucking insane, go shoot up places. Like this guy he some guy named Richard something. I don't know, Richard Wayne, I think. He goes and he he murders a guy in a pawn shop and then kills like a state trooper. And then, uh, then you have like the FBI come in and investigate this whole organization. And they basically just take them down. Like it's not, they're not really the threat level today. Low, right? Low threat level, not shit. I'm not really going to give them anything. I mean, cool name, cool name, right? The sword, the covenant and the sword and shit. Like that's a cool name. That's a really cool name. So I'm going to, I think for just style points, I'm going to put them next to Om Shinrikyu, because they're just, they got the style points. Then we got the Tupac Amaru Revolution Movement, a very specific terrorist group. Uh, they were a Marxist group. It was one of those revolt groups that just wanted to upend the government in Peru and take shit down. You know, they're not really, they're very small. Basically, this happens in history a lot. You'll have groups that are overwhelmingly fascist run their country with an iron fist. Then you have the response, which is somebody to say like, well, we want less government. So then they like, they want like communism. So like it just jumps from fascism to communism, like over and over because people just overreact. And those are the loudest voices. So it's like, 
you just get thrown from one thing to the other. You just have fucking yeah, you'll have you'll have like a overly fascist government like in Germany. Like in Germany that shit happened. After you had the Nazi party and all that stuff, you had groups come out that were literally pushing for like the most freedom possible. Like you had you had people coming out saying that they were going to get rid of the age of consent completely and shit like that. Like they were just going to completely dismantle the entire like system just because it didn't work because you had the extremist running it and then they wanted to take the opposite extreme it's like stop dealing in extremes that's what's awful about this stuff is like you have you need to find the happy middle when it comes to this stuff and and i feel like humans have an issue with peace and that's why war has always started so once we find a good way to run things, people just got to fuck it up, man. They say it's not good enough or it's not or we're not progressing fast enough or or we need to conserve everything. You know what I mean? Like right now in the United States, we got progressives versus conservatives. But then you have extreme conservatives and you have extreme progressives. And like these ends are being pushed. Everybody's being polarized even more and more. And that's how you end up with people like the Nazis or you have people like communist China. So anyways, the Tupac gang, uh, D tier. All right, we got the cart cartel. Uh, Any cartel, Mexican cartel, you know, you know, the people down down south. In the United States, you know those people down there. Mainstream appeal, you got narcos, you got all these Spanish uh, soap operas. All this stuff is based on this stuff. And you even have music that's dedicated to to cartels. Like, there's cartel music. And there's, like, music opposing the cartel, which most of these people just end up dead. You know, that's what they do down there. <coughs> <coughs> heavily into drugs, heavily into money. Mainstream appeal, cartel, S-tier. Up there with ISIS. You got to give it to them. Come on now. Eco-terrorism. So we got recycling. These are the people that are just like, if you don't recycle, I'm going to shoot you in the head. Animal cruelty factories and animal cruelty experiments and things like that. Like, um, if, if you don't recycle, I'm going to I'm gonna kill your dog. I mean, it doesn't work that way because they can't really. They're animal activists too. So if, you, if, you don't, if you don't stop killing your dogs, we're going to force you to recycle. It, it doesn't work. Anyways, they, they go around they and uh, if you have extreme examples of eco-terrorism, they'll like blow up factories and shit when it comes to animals. So they'll like, they'll even sacrifice the animals within the factory just to get, get rid of the people and kill the people. And uh, basically saving the planet through violence and force and that veganism shit. Uh, style points, not really on the, I mean, I don't know, eco-terrorists could go next to the taliban but i don't know they kind of seem like they're more down here they're definitely not as bad as hummus but uh you know what i'm gonna give it i'm gonna maybe no no they're not better than om shinriku stop yeah let's just give them a c because you know they're just you know you understand them you understand where they're coming from you just don't necessarily agree with the violence all right we got the japanese red army but i guess i put a red coat fuck So yeah, the Japanese imperialist army, they took over all kinds of shit in China and just raped people and destroyed all that shit. Threat level today, down down the drain, you know, down the drain, got blown up. Uh, but, you know, there's, there's still, the imperial army still, still, still there. It's just not, not what it used to be. <laughs> it's not what it used to be at all. Um, but back in their heyday, you know, they even used to, they would even eat U.S. soldiers. Like, it it came down to that shit where they were just like, they were cooking United States soldiers that they captured and, and eating them and shit. So, like, they're kind of ruthless. Japanese Red Army, kind of ruthless. Maybe as ruthless, I would say, as ISIS and the cartel. But their threat level is not that high, so I'm going to give them an A. 
Uh, Krispy Kreme Donuts, otherwise known as the KKK. Style points. Uh, have you ever seen a Grand Wizard's uh, fucking garb? Have you ever seen what they wear? Uh, the colors, they're over the top. Now, threat level today, I don't know if they really still believe in the whole shit that they used to believe in. There's definitely not any, like, public lynchings going on like it used to like it used to happen. But the KKK is a an American renowned. Like, everybody knows the KKK. Not good people, but everybody knows them, right? And uh, I'd say America-wise, KKK would be probably S-tier. But if we're talking national level, not really national level. But I got to give them style points, though. I got to give them style points. So I think I'm going to slap the KKK right along the good old B tier. Now, right along that whole white supremacy train, we got Phineas Priesthood. So Phineas Priesthood is a it's an ideology and not an organization. No, if, if you believe in the um, ideas of... No race mixing, no uh, no homosexuality, no abortion, no like mixing of culture, none of that shit. And like, they're just like a, it's like if you commit violent acts in the name of those principles, then uh, you're basically part of the Phineas priesthood. I'm not going to, because I wouldn't say they're that, they're not necessarily an organization, so they're not really formed. So I'm not really gonna put them with the KKK because they're not they're just not the KKK. You can't you can't beat the KKK, right? I'm gonna throw Phineas Priesthood in that D tier because you know it's just not even it's not really that well known. Nobody really talks about Phineas Priesthood. So it might actually be Hamas down there. There are people that believe these beliefs, not to the extent of like killing somebody for having these beliefs or doing these things, but there are people that believe that you shouldn't mix races. There are people that you be that believe that their abortion shouldn't happen, but not necessarily you're going to have somebody who believes abortion shouldn't happen is also going to believe there shouldn't be mixing of races. So it's kind of a, you have to have all of those beliefs. You got to meet all the requirements to be part of this. I don't know if I never really, you don't really hear about it. So F tier last but not least, we have the Irish Republican army, basically killing in the name of Ireland. They want their independence from Britain. They don't want to be put on their own sovereignty, basically. And you know how all these little groups spring up. They basically oppose the, the ideals of a higher organization. The Irish Republican Army, basically just a bunch of people banded together to try to keep Ireland as its own place. Style-wise, Irish are crazy people. I'd have to give them, you know, they're they're very well known. People make a lot of uh, jokes about them, especially in Ireland. Um, I I wouldn't consider them a terrorist organization, but I guess for the sake of this video, the Irish Republican Army, just gonna give it a good old C tier. Thank thank you for watching this video. I know this was kind of weird. If you want me to make any more tier lists, I'm thinking about doing like a, uh, a horror movie villain tier list or maybe a serial killer tier list. I don't know if that's a good one. But uh, let me know down in the comment section. If you want me to cover any like stories or anything, please let me know. You can notify me on the email or just leave it down in the comment section if you want me to cover any horror stories or anything, uh, any phenomenon that you want me to cover on this channel because I'm doing all of the above, you know. So uh, yeah, that's basically it for this video. I'll see you guys later.